Hello, grade four. Today, we will continue our talking about the cell. We said before that the cell is the building unit of all living organisms. Now, you have to know that there are two types of cells. The first one is called plant cell, and the second one is called animal cell. Plant cell and animal cell. Plant cell is the building unit of plants. The building unit of plants. An animal cell is the building unit of animals and humans. The building unit of animals and humans. Again, plant cell is the building unit of plants only, but animal cell is the building unit of animals and humans. So we and animals have exactly the same type of cell? Yes, we and animals have exactly the same six systems. Both of us have digestive system to digest food, respiratory system to breathe, circulatory system to distribute oxygen and digested food all over our body, reproductive system to get babies, urinary system to get rid of wastes and nervous system to control the five senses. That means we and animals have exactly the same six systems. So we have exactly the same organs, so the same tissues and finally the same cells which are called animal cells. And that's why Humans and animals have the same building unit, which is called animal cell, but plants have different building unit, which is called plant cell. Okay, first we will start talking about the structure of plant cell. This is a photo of plant cell. The first part here is cell wall. Cell wall. Cell wall is the outer cover of plant cell and it's hard as it's called wall. So it's hard to protect the cell. After that we have plasma membrane. Plasma membrane. Plasma membrane is the second cover of the cell. The second cover of the cell. But this one is thin to control the substances that enter or leave the cell. Do you remember that? Okay. Then we have nucleus. Nucleus. Nucleus is one of the most important parts of the cell as it's responsible of the cell division. We said that before. Then we have this liquid that fills all the spaces in the cell which is called yes exactly cytoplasm cytoplasm okay and then this part can you see this large part here this large part here is called sab vacuole sab vacuole and there is only one large sap vacuole in plant cell. Only one large sap vacuole in plant cell. And finally, we have many, many chloroplasts, chloroplasts, which has another name, green plastids, green plastids. Okay. Chloroplasts are so important for plants as they help them to make their food by themselves. So, again, all the plants have chloroplasts to help them to make their food by themselves. Again, cell wall, plasma membrane, nucleus, cytoplasm, sap vacuole, and chloroplasts. Now, let's talk about the structure of animal cell. This is a photo of animal cell. 
which has only one outer cover only one outer cover which is called plasma membrane plasma membrane then we have the liquid that fills all the spaces as we said before which is called cytoplasm and then we have the most important part in any cell which is called exactly nucleus nucleus and then we have here many, many sab vacuoles. Sab vacuoles. We said before that we have only one large sab vacuole in plant cell. But here we have many small sab vacuoles in animal cell. Okay. Now let's make a comparison between animal cell and plant cell according to the exist of cell wall plasma membrane cytoplasm nucleus sab vacuoles and chloroplasts okay first cell wall exists in which one of them exactly plant cell cell wall exists only in plant cell to protect the cell okay plasma membrane exists in i can hear you yes very good both of them exists in plant cell and animal cell cytoplasm exists in very good both as it fills any space in any cell so it must exist in animal cell and plant cell after that nucleus we said before it's one of the most important parts in any cell so it exists also in both animal cell and plant cell okay sab vacuoles sab vacuoles we said before that there are many small sab vacuoles in animal cell and one large sab vacuole in plant cell okay finally chloroplasts chloroplasts excellent chloroplasts exist only in plant cell as we said they help the plants to make their food by themselves but animals and humans don't need chloroplasts because they don't make their food by themselves so the chloroplasts exist only in plant cell so finally the plant cell is characterized by two things the cell wall and the chloroplasts cell wall and chloroplasts as both of them exist only in plant cell and they don't exist in animal cell now it's your time to know that living organisms are divided into two types the first one is called multicellular multicellular and the second one is called unicellular unicellular multicellular and unicellular multicellular means multi multi so it means many the living organisms that have many cells in their body again multicellular organisms mean the organisms that have many cells in their body like humans animals and plants humans have millions of cells in their body so they are multicellular animals have millions of cells in their body so they are multicellular plants have millions of plant cells in their body so they are multicellular but unicellular organisms unicellular organisms means 
the living organisms that have only one cell in their body. Only one cell in their body. Like bacteria and yeast fungus. Bacteria and yeast fungus. They have only one cell in their body. Okay. Let's know now the structure of yeast fungus. This is a photo of yeast fungus cell. It consists of nucleus, cell wall, sap vacuole, and cytoplasm. Again, nucleus for the cell division, cell wall, the outer cover to protect the cell, and one large sap vacuole, and finally, the cytoplasm, which fills all the spaces in the cell. Okay, is yeast fungus important in our life? Yes, sure. Yeast fungus is so important in our life. So what is the importance of yeast fungus? Okay, it helps us in, number one, making bread making bread number two making alcohol making alcohol so again what is the importance of yeast fungus it helps us in making bread and making alcohol that's it for today see you in next video inshallah for next lesson and thank you so much grateful for your watching bye